everybody, welcome in the second episode of JavaScript for Beginners. Today, we're going to talk about variables. Now, what are variables? Variables are something, uh, part of something I like to call the four fundamental building blocks in programming. These are variables, if statements, loops, and functions. In this video, we're just going to cover variables, but I'll make a separate video for each and every one of the fundamental blocks. Now, you may ask what are variables used for? So, let's see. Variables, in essence, are just containers for data, and they're used to manipulate data around our code and make it more readable. So, let's give it a practical example. Let's say you're making a banking app for somebody, and you need to play around with the uh, monetary value that a user has in their account. So, you will just use a variable to note how much money that user has. So if, let's say, I've got $5 in my bank account, I could use a variable, which would be equal to 5, to say that I have $5, and use it wherever in my code to note my monetary value. Alright? Cool. Let's get into the code. So, welcome back, and this is where we left off last time. We linked our script and our HTML file. So, let's get started with variables. First thing off, we need to do something which is called declaring variables. This just means creating them. So, to create a variable, we need to just type in var from variable and how we want to call our variable. So, let's say apples. We here just declare a variable called apples. Now, I can say that apples is equal to 5. And if we console that like this, like this, and go to our HTML file, which is not this, uh, and press F12, we can see that 5 shows up in the console because apples equals to 5 and we cancel the lock apples. Cool. Now, there's some naming conventions for variables such as taking a start with a number. Let's say I cannot have a variable named 3 apples. As you can see, it gives me an error. Or I can start with symbols such as percent apples again it gives me an error. These are just some things to check when you're naming variables. So, I'm going to try and zoom in, see how I can do that. Hmm. Well, hmm. Let's see, view, help. Zoom VS code. There we go. Well, that's actually very something. Okay. Welcome back. I figured out how to do some things in uh, VS Code. So, as I said, apples equals to 5, and we cancel the log apples. Sweet. As you can see here, we uh, typed in an equal sign. This is called an assignment, which means the value 5 is going to be assigned to the variable apples. And if we can do multi multiple assignments to variables, such as we can change their values, let's say apples now is equal to 3. So in line 3 of our code, apples will be equal to 5, and then in line 4, it will change to 3. 
and as you can see if we refresh this in our console shows the value 3 all right let's do something more interesting with variables let's have multiple ones so let's create a stub and let's play with hmm, apples again I don't know uh, let's say I have some initial uh, some initial apples initial apples equal to 13 and some apples that I ate which we're going to call eaten apples equal to 2 so I've got 13 initial apples in the beginning and I'm going to eat 2 and I want, and I want to know the value uh, that's I want to know how many apples I'll have after I'll eat uh, two apples. So we can play with this and let's declare a third variable for this for final apples, which is equal to initial apples minus eaten apples. So now final apples will be uh, the value of the initial apples, which will be 13, minus eaten apples, which is going to be 2. So this is the same, same thing as uh, typing in var final apples equals to 13 minus 2. And if we console.log this, console.log final apples, we're going to see that it's 11, because 13 minus 2 equals 11. The interesting thing though is that if we change things here, such as the number of eaten apples, our final apples will change as well. So if we type here 5, now final apples would be 13 minus 5, which is equal to 8. And that's how a variable works. We can go a lot more in depth for this. There is uh, multiple ways to declare variables, multiple types of variables, there's arrays, objects, and other some really cool stuff. But for this initial video we're just going to cover the basics. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.